from the Arnaldos family. God provides. In Blessed Josepha Preschool in the village of Kasungula in Zambia, teachers look for a variety of lessons for the children. The very simple setting in a poor village brings something new every day. Through stories, songs, pictures, and art, they have been teaching about different modes of transportation. Every year there's an educational tour for the students to see and experience something beyond what they see in the village of Kazungula. Although a trip was not possible this year because of COVID-19 and financial constraints, suddenly something unexpected happened which became a wonderful opportunity for them to see, touch, experience, and learn about helicopters. One morning, while in class, they saw two helicopters looking for a place to land, which then they did on the playground close to the preschool. Everyone hurried outside to have a look at those big birds. There were two helicopters, two trucks, and a group of soldiers assigned with a special mission to Kazungula. After watching from a distance, the children soon received permission from the captain to approach and board one of the helicopters. The soldiers gave an educational talk about the use of these big machines, and everyone was allowed to watch the helicopter take off. Those little children in that small village in Africa had a truly amazing experience they'll never forget. Uganda Mission. Sister Francesca Lucina Bratajek and Sister Dorothea Poli, who are in charge of the Holy Childhood Mission, continue serving the children in 30 chapels in Bidibidi Settlement one of the SSPS missions in Uganda. They follow pandemic restrictions as they move about and have meetings with small groups of people. Three times in a week, we go to every chapel for catechism, rosary, prayer, and encourage the children to continue praying the rosary every day with the special intention of this pandemic. God be with you Guide your steps and keep you safe, dear sisters. Zoom retreat at the U.S. West Province. The members of U.S. Western Province participated in a Zoom retreat from October 20 to 23rd this year. The retreat was guided by Reverend Roger Schroeder, D Divine Word, and Reverend Steve Bevins, also Divine Word on the topic of intercultural spirituality and mission today. Unable to gather in person at Divine Word Residence, Riverside, nonetheless, some of the communities and districts zoomed together in one location. The presentations by Roger were The Holy Ground of My Life Story, A Personal Meditation on Spiritual Growth Through Intercultural Action, basic understanding of interculturality based upon Anthony Gittin's book, The Intercultural Journey of Jesus and the Stories of the Syrophoenician Woman, the Samaritan Woman at the Well, and the Parable of the Good Samaritan, The Intercultural Journey of the Early Church, Enriched by the Spirituality of the Other, and Interculturality as Prophetic Dialogue. Steve Bevan's presentation was on Glimpsing the Reign of God, 11 Rules for Engaging Culture in Mission. The experience, though virtual, prompted good discussion and also afforded members the opportunity to see and greet one another after a long time. A mighty tree has fallen. On Monday, October 26, the first Santa Ana winds of the season hit the Inland Empire broadside with hurricane force. The good news, 
clear skies and a tremendous views of the mountains. The bad news, power outages, dust, and flying debris. Worst of all, the sudden death of the stalwart 100-year-old stone pine or umbrella pine in front of the Stone House Chapel at Divine Word Residence, Riverside. Father John Kirby, the Provincial Superior, reports, in the late afternoon, the sudden thunderous crack and foundation-shaking thud could be heard and felt for miles. We rushed out of the province office only to witness a veritable Armageddon stretched out before us. Startled and shocked, we slowly surveyed the scene, starting from the rootless chasm that mocked our eyes and glancing down at the long winding trunk, the ponderously thick trunk with a four foot diameter that was now half buried in the stone house lawn. Then our already overfed eyes finally came to rest on the massive chaotic tangle of branches and foliage that only a moment before was high above our heads, giving acres of shelter to all beneath. But now it was lying there like a beached whale with a dozen long arms still waving in the wind and another dozen beneath. This vast snarl of limbs had crushed the once tall cypresses, suffocated the submissive kumquat trees, and obliterated the walkway and the staircase to the chapel before perilously resting on the building's red tiles. Those three monumental trees that lined the road up to the stone house have long been hallmarks of our SVD Riverside property. They have been an integral part of Mary Grove, the original name for the Divine Word Seminary, for so long that they are part of our very identity. They were planted when they first built the whole mansion, which we call Stone House, and they were there long before any of the other buildings popped up. I was climbing in its branches, trimming away the dead wood under the direction of Father Bush, 60 years ago. And it was a giant even then, John Kirby said. It is as if one of the three great guardians of our beloved Mary Grove has fallen, and with it, the entity itself has been diminished. So let us mourn for our fallen guardian. Something of our very self has died. It is the end of an era and the province will not be the same without it. Dignity and Sanctity of Life Each October, as we celebrate Respect Life Month, the Divine Word College Seminary community in Iowa partners with Dubuque County Right to Life to plant crosses on the seminary campus, each cross representing the soul of a child lost to abortion. Every year, October 15th is celebrated as Pregnancy and Loss Remembrance Day. We continue praying and working for a greater respect for the dignity and sanctity of life from conception to natural end. SVD priest appointed to Interreligious Pontifical Council. Pope Francis has appointed Divine Word missionary priest Sebastian Maria Michael, a noted sociologist and writer, as a consultor of the Vatican's Pontifical Council for Interreligious Dialogue. Father Michael is the honorary director of the Institute of Indian Culture at Mumbai, India. He heads the Commission for Interreligious Dialogue in the Archdiocese of Mumbai and is is a professor in sociology and anthropology at Mumbai University. The October 22nd appointment is for a five-year term. Comprised of bishops, clergy, nuns, and laity, the new consultors hail from different county countries, Cambodia, Chile, Japan, Italy, 
the United States, Singapore, and Taiwan. This pontifical council was instituted as a special department of the Roman Curia by Pope Paul VI in 1964 as the central office of the Catholic Church for the promotion of interreligious dialogue in accordance with the spirit of the Second Vatican Council. Its role is to promote mutual understanding, respect, and collaboration between Catholics and those who follow other religious traditions. It also encourages the study of religions and promotes the formation of persons dedicated to dialogue. Father Michael is a member of the Mumbai Indian province of the Divine Word Missionary Congregation and a member of the visiting faculty at the Anthropos Institute Bonn and Magdeburg University in Germany. He authored several books on culture and anthropology, published many articles in national and international journals, and was the SVD Asia Pacific Zonal Coordinator until recently. Last word. God of all, in this time of uncertainty and fear, ignite us with the fire of your love inflame our hearts with courage to embrace dialogue that transforms and truth that frees. Kindle our love with kindness to heal and reconcile relationships. Enlighten our imaginations with insight to envision and create a world where all are one. Stir our actions with justice and peace to engage critical concerns and cherish all of life. Fire our lives with audacity and hope to risk all for God's mission. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. Share with others about the channel and the variety of programs you can enjoy here. That's all for this edition of Mission Minute News. Until we meet again, stay safe, and may Jesus' love for you make you smile.